All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Versatility Podcast. I'm your host, Jewels. You already know what it is. <laughs> <He's smiling. laughs> no, <funny as> shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we back with another episode. Sorry for missing last week. Um, as you can see, I kind of have a little new thing going on right now in the new crib. Showing the micro crib, bro. You feel me? We we here. Exactly. We here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was trying to set up this and then try to work his schedules. And it was first week of school. I'm sorry, y'all, but um, y'all finna get way, way, way better content because I got two mics now. I can get in person stuff. Like it's it's only up from here, y'all. It's only it's only up from here. But um, as you see. Uh, I got a I got a new guest on the show, my guy, uh, one of the really good 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 people that I met at Morgan when I first got here for real, um, English class with Professor Pandy. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> we 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 will not uh, talk about uh, professors on um. <laughs> on, uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what grade do you think you deserve? Oh, a a a. <laughs> I deserve it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> but um, but yeah, my my really good good friend from New York, uh, <laughs> oh Justin Armstrong. Yo, to say what's up to the pod, man. What's good, guys? You feel me, Justin? Here, my boy, Jewels. <laughs> you feel me? We gonna have fun on here. Versatility. We here, bro. Yeah, you know, just a pretty boy, so he gonna get my views up a little bit. You know, nah, regular guy. <laughs> regular guy. <laughs> He's not a regular guy, bro. He's the guy. He's Hemothy. But, <laughs> um, but nah, um, you know, we got a new episode for y'all. There's a lot of news that's been happening. And, you know, even though I don't like talking about it, we got to talk about COVID a little bit right there. The little the vid, panini, panorama, whatever you want to call it, yada, yada, yada. Um, so if y'all, for those of you who don't know, um, and Justin, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure you know, though, but um, there are no more COVID restrictions, basically. Dunzos for real, like the CDC recommends, yeah, like mask, all that done, all that for the most part is done. They at least they recommend it now. Granted, you know, because David Wilson, I think for the school, he's kind of figuring out and all that stuff, and you do it based off, you know, whatever, um, what the rules are for certain places and things of that nature. But overall, like the CDC recommends, like you good basically. Oh, um, shit. so but here, you know, here's just a few of the things that they said. Um, kids no longer need to test to stay in school. So, you know, if, like, you caught COVID or whatever, like, after a certain amount of period or, like, maybe if you want to, like, have to take a test in order to start um, in order to start school and stuff like that, if you're not vaccinated, like, they say you don't got to do that no more. That's, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. I agree with it, but then I don't agree with it at the same time. That's a little insane, bro. That's not even it, bro. That's just the beginning of it. But they said no more social distancing or quarantining of potential exposed people um, like the quarantining of, of potentially exposed people is not recommended, uh, regardless of vaccine status. So they talking about if you raw dog in the panini and you've been doing that, they don't care no more. Listen, like if you get COVID or whatever, like, they basically said it's whatever. That's 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 literally yeah. what they said. Um, not not even done. I'm not even done. <laughs> and then he said they said don't test for COVID unless you have symptoms or you have suspected exposure from someone that had COVID. So, let's say, like, if you just, ah, oh, let me just go get tested. No. They basically are like, don't do that. Like, you know, we used to be like, mm, I'm a little sick. Yeah, let me I'm see what we're You know, whatever. Nah. They said, unless you have, like, legit sy- symptoms, don't go. Basically. Uh, what? Because, bro, the symptoms can be minor symptoms, too. Like, you know what I mean, bro? Like, <laughs> the thing is, the, the death rate and the death, like, the death rate of you having COVID, like, it's just, it's not the same anymore. So that's why, like, they're not on edge anymore as much about it because it's like, are oh, we gonna be good? You know what I mean? Like that—that's basically what they like. They're like, yeah, we gonna be good for the most part. And plus, and you, you know what makes what makes this funny is the fact of that the CDC literally was like, it was like a few weeks ago. It was like, yeah, the, the information that we gave out to the public was, you know, it was a little confusing and stuff. So we understand that people, you know, are sketchy, yada yada yada. But now they send this out. That makes it even more confusing. It doesn't because it's like, okay, we get it. You're saying just F it now at this point. But at the same time, it's still like, what? <laughs> nah, for real. It's like, they're saying, like, they're doing all this stuff. They're pushing, they're pushing this thing forward right now, bro. But it's like, 
how much you want to bet once it hits winter? COVID, COVID numbers rising. Oh, it is, it is, it is. It is. And it's <laughs> like, okay, bro. And then they're, then they're gonna be like, oh, now everyone go get tested. And it's like, oh my gosh, now the whole nation is up for again, bro. It, I mean, well, I mean, so we we know how COVID is. So it usually spikes up in the in the summer a little bit, and then it's gonna spike up in the winter. Granted, this summer it spiked for just a little bit. I remember seeing some stuff about it, but overall, nothing really happened. Because we have immunity now, like, for the most part, people, would, you know, like, if you get COVID, bro, nine times out of ten, you, you might go to the hospital, but usually you'll get a little sick, yada, yada, quarantine for a few days. Like, they literally say after, like, five days, you don't even have to test anymore to go back outside. Like, you can just stay masked up for another, like, two days or so. Then after that, don't mask up anymore. Free. Especially if you, if you don't have any more symptoms. If, yeah, because that, that's the key part. If you, if you have symptoms... Stay stay home. Like they they still recommend that. But like if you don't have symptoms anymore and you tested positive for COVID and it's been a few days or whatever, they're like it's whatever. But now they're saying too, like they just said this too. If you don't have symptoms but you have COVID, then like just mask up everywhere but you can go out. That's the, at least that that's that's what it seems like they're saying on here. Like then it, that, that's what it sounds like. So it ain't that. So like how how do you feel about that? Especially because you know it's first week of school and stuff. And like I know me personally like. Sometimes in classes, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, I don't have a mask on. Like, it's just, it's second nature at this point. Nah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be real funny, because you know how people get. They go to class when they sick, bro. Yeah. They just gonna show up, and then you never know who might have COVID, bro. You might, don't even know what they have, bro, at that. <laughs> you don't know what they have. And they're just in class, just chilling, dapping you up, <laughs> talking in your face, bro. It's like, you don't know, bro. So that's kind of kind of crazy to me. But I feel like at Morgan, they might find a solution they might make us still wear masks just go off of that yeah i don't know what uh dr wilson president wilson is really gonna do um they said in a faculty meeting that he had said yeah we're still gonna wear yada 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 but then some teachers are still not wearing it or you know yada 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 because it's not it wasn't exactly clear but he kind of said something about it but i ain't gonna lie like at this point if i get it I, I get it. I, I think that, that's at the point that I'm at now. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be affected by it. If I had COVID, I mean, by, by now, bro, I had to have had COVID at some point. I know you had COVID at one point, yep. but you didn't have any symptoms or anything, right? No, my drug was no symptoms. A day and I both got at the same time, no <laughs> symptoms, no nothing. Yeah. He, so, he was so shook to tell me. He was like, he, was, he texted me, Justin, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I said, what? He was like, I got COVID. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he was like, I'm like, you good, bro? He was like, yeah, I think you're going to get tested. I was like, I'm not going to lie. We live together. I got it. I'm not going to get tested, bro. At this point. At this point, I'm like, bro, I might as well just quarantine, bro. I don't feel nothing. You don't feel nothing. Just everyone chill. Actually, you should tell them about, like, the two times you did actually have COVID that you actually went to go t- get tested for it. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> funny story, bro. It's kind of weird because every time, like, I went to go get tested for COVID, I would go there. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. <laughs> I'd be fine. I know. But as soon as I get tested, all of a sudden I get sick. Every time, bro. <laughs> Every single time. So my mom, she works She works in a hospital. And I told her straight up. I come home for winter break. She's like, you got to go test for you walking here. I said, every time I get tested, I get sick. So I'm not going. <laughs> she was like, she's like, what you mean? I'm like, bro, I swear they, they giving me COVID. I'm not doing it no more. So ever since then, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really been sick until recently, but. Well, that's Every, a whole other story. Yeah, that's though. a whole other story. But <laughs> we ain't gonna get into it. <laughs> nah, yeah, but other than that, I haven't gotten like no nothing like related to COVID ever since I stopped getting tested, bro. It's kind of weird, but listen, we're not conspiracy theorists or anything. Y'all know at this point, like I'm not a conspiracy nah, theorist. I'm a so conspiracy like, theorist I, now, bro, because that oh was ridiculous, bro. <laughs> that was ridiculous. But I, I'm not gonna lie. When he told me, when you told me that, I was like, and I was last year. Um, I was like. What? Yeah, like, oh. I was like, what? Because whenever I got tested, like, I was still cool afterwards for real. So, like, I never, I didn't think anything of it, but it definitely was in the back of my head, like, yo, if I end up sick like Justin, and then <laughs> and it come back, he go again, and be like, I told you I so. Told you, I told you. <laughs> I'm always right. I mean, like, uh, no. yep. like, all right, bro, whatever you say. But, yeah, so that that's really what it is for COVID, and, you know, I don't want to harp on that subject too long, because... I've, I've talked about it quite a bit on this podcast and more. Um, so moving on to the next uh, news segment, you know, the best news, the t- top news of the day or whatever, whatever, of the week or really two weeks because, you know, I missed some time, which I'm actually kind of glad I missed last podcast because now I get to talk about this uh, with you. So I know you heard that Biden is canceling student loans for like millions of people, right? Yep. So um, do you know any of like the, some of the details about it before I list off stuff? 
Shit, I'm not getting none of it. That's what I know. Dang. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, basically, so up to twenty k up to twenty thousand in student loan forgiveness for those who use Pell Grants. I didn't use Pell Grants. Um, neither did you, I'm assuming. Um, ten K for those who may who make less than one hundred twenty five thousand a year and under two hundred fifty thousand a year for married couples or head of households. So but then at the same time, no, they said about ninety percent of those eligible will probably go to people who make under seventy five thousand. So just to reiterate what I just said, basically so it is up to ten K ten thousand in student loan forgiveness for people who make under one hundred twenty five thousand a year. But ninety percent of that student loan forgiveness is gonna go to people who make under seventy five thousand dollars a year. So basically it's for people under who make underneath seven seventy five thousand, which makes sense because you know they don't make as much money, yada yada yada. So people who make twenty five K a year, fifty K if you make it twenty five K a year, I feel sorry for you. That's that's tough. <laughs> like that, that's a tough lifestyle. And I understand it's different for everybody, but like I, I hope you get out of that. Um, for real, for real. But also, they said like near, nearly forty-five percent of borrow, borrowers, around twenty million people, will have debt fully canceled because of this. That's 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 actually a lot of that's a yeah, lot that's, of freaking people. That's, I love that. that's twenty mil, bro. twenty mil, and then about forty-three million people will benefit from this plan overall. But this 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 will cost the government about twenty-four billion dollars a year. To like do just this Dang I mean and you already know We're trillion dollars in debt So it don't even matter At this point Especially ever since I think it was ever since Like the first Like a revolutionary war Mm -hmm. Against Britain and stuff Like we've been in debt Ever since bro And it keeps piling Because you know The US we like to Dibble dabble In everybody's wars But that's a whole nother thing Um, Some Democrats Praised the bill While others didn't (laughs) It's funny Because Republicans Said it was like illegal (laughs) <laughs> and they said Because government doesn't have the authority To do this Yada 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 I'm like The government has authority To do just about yeah, anything, anything At this point do. Whether they do it officially Or, or unofficially, unofficially. <laughs> So when we are going to get into that They're the government What are you going to tell them? Exactly bro There's always a loophole Every time Exactly um, But then they also said The NAACP said There's still a long way to go Which makes sense They, they definitely um, I agree with them There definitely is a way to go But this is a start and some some key Republicans, I mean not Republicans, key, some key Democrats. I can't remember their names at the moment. They def, they also were like, you know, this is a this is a good step. It's a, it's a step, definitely longer way to go. Um, because we don't know how much longer the Republican, I mean, the Democrats will be controlling uh the, I think it's the Senate, the Senate right now. Um, because Republicans might get the House and very soon, and they could potentially get. No, I don't think they're gonna get the Senate back. But um, so you know, they want to. Maximize on the fact that the Democrats have power right now, um, but it's gonna be interesting. So, what, what do you think about all that? I know I just said a lot, but you know, what, what are your thoughts? I want to see how many people and the HBCUs benefit from this. To be honest, because you know, a lot of people like we know a lot of people that really go through it financially at HBCU. Who? Who you telling? Like, I got a friend that he don't even go to HBCU. He go to PWI. He go to Auburn, and I'm like, bro, all these loans you taking out for this school, bro. I guess your dream school and stuff, but damn, and they're not even trying to help you. No, and, the, and then they put interest on top of it. They use exactly. interest, and then the only way he could find the help he needed was to join the football team. That's literally it. He was like, "Bro, I just gotta, I gotta try out." He, bro, he worked all four years to finally go on the scheme. Finally got on. Thank God he finally got on. But that money coming out of his pockets was ridiculous, bro. I was like, "Bro, he taking out loans for everything, pretty much like he was taking out loans for food, all that shit, bro." Like. Shit is ridiculous. I'm like, I can't do that. It's not me, bro. Like, for basic food, too? So, the way he took out his loans was, like, he would take out loans for transportation, take out loans for, like, food, all that, bro. Just to, And he's working, too, on top of that, bro. So, it's like, that's what I'm saying. That shit is ridiculous, bro. And this is, is this senior year, too? Like, huh? Yep. Oh, same, same age? Yep. Bro, he's about to be in a hell of debt, bro. I, I told him that shit too. I was did like, he use, do you know if he used Pell Grants or not? I think he did. All right, so then yeah, he should, he should be set for, for giving. And because I'm assuming, wait, what's his what's his major? Uh, I think he's finance. He can make. He could potentially make bank, but he should be under under 25k a year. So he's sh- probably under 75k too, at, at least for an entry job. So. He actually might be good. They they might actually cancel a lot of his debt. I, don't, I mean, I'm up to twenty k though. Yeah. So no, he, nah, nah. That, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> nah, bro. Auburn is bread, but I think like 
he's getting more benefits now that he's on the football team to help pay that off. That's so fair. he should be cool. Oh, that's dope, bro. I mean, I, I'm gonna pray for him because that's like I think myself. I'm like what 70k probably in debt, maybe maybe more probably. So like 20k ain't gonna do too much. I mean, actually, it's only gonna be 10k for me because I don't have Pell grants. Dang. So I don't know, if I if I am at 70k, I'm only gonna be at 60k now. So it's like. Shit, it's something. I mean, it's something, but it's but like, like, damn. damn. <laughs> like, some people that debt free after that joint. No, for real. Like, hopefully, hopefully, one of these these superstars like Drake or some shit come to Morgan, pay up, pay up that debt. <laughs> Who you tell her? <laughs> Ho- hopefully, I can get that superstar uh, contract and uh, music or entertainment and stuff like that. Man, for this podcast, I pay. Hey, man, if y'all want to donate, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, Just swing them views up, bro. Come on, get the oh, views up, bro. I got I got a little donate page. I think nah, let me let me add the cash app on there. <laughs> Facts, bro. Send my boy Jewel some money. Hey, bro, don't 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 hate the player, hate the game <laughs> for real, bro. Hate, hate the, the game, game. for real. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, so that that's really what it is with that. I mean, what 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 are like if you had like a target of how much they should they should forgive just for everybody, um, regardless of your income, yada yada yada, like a target that you think would be good for everybody that's higher than what they already have because it's ten k right now. What do you think would be a good one that can kind of be a little medium besides, of course, the one that they already did? So, I feel like instead of doing it like that way, based off like the money. Let's say you get out in four years. They should at least give you, like, two semesters. That's my opinion, bro. Not two semesters, two years of work. So, freshman year, sophomore year. Only reason I say that, bro, Oh, you saying... Oh, okay. I so, you saying just don't do it monetary, like, number-wise? Do it yeah. by years. I feel like they should do it by years instead, That's going to vary a lot, though, because some people literally have no scholarships, no nothing. So, like, That's that fact. literally could be the whole 48K for That's some people. Fact. No, that is true. But And for private universities... Like I know Marquette University, like that's a you know you know about Marquette, yeah, right? Yeah. Like that's a really really big school. It's like seventy k. Nah, yeah, that's really even for people who live in Milwaukee, because it's a private university, if I'm not mistaken. So like I have a friend who goes there. She's she's really dope. She cool. She definitely bought her stuff. She got a scholarship to go there, but it, again, seventy k. Seventy k is a lot of bread, bro. That's a lot of bread. <laughs> like so. But no, I actually kind of like the idea of it, but it's like some people are literally going to owe like 100K. That's 100K. Whereas someone like me, I think my first two years would probably be around like 20, 30K, 20K, something like that. So like, that's an 80K difference. (laughs) That's an 80K difference. It's like, bro, you got to think about it. As we said, America's in debt already. To fix that debt starts with the people at the end of the day. I mean, people paying off all these fucking loans. And school shit. should be free. School school should be fucking free. Sh- school should be free. It should be. School should be free. I, I feel like I understand why they make you pay for it more because it is higher education. It, it's more optional than high school and stuff. But like the fact that it costs this much. Granted, I understand they bring in a lot of money. I, I get it. You, you're living somewhere. You're um you're getting access to books and knowledge that normal people don't get access to. But like there's got to be a there's got to be something, bro, because this Morgan's tuition is what twenty eight k for out of state, right? Thirty k. Oh yeah, it's around thirty k now. Probably so to go up more because these buildings in the all around Baltimore. Yeah, right now, because even though we love the new buildings and we love Dr. Wilson and all that type of stuff, when you do that, it raises the the cost of everything. I mean, which kind of a, a little bit will bring me to a topic we're gonna talk about later about why we ended up getting our house and everything. And we're going to get into that story and all that type of stuff. But, like, you know, like, that that goes down f- literally half the half the bill is now paid. Um, I mean, half the bill is taken off because we live in a house now. That we don't have to pay Morgan anymore. Like, yep. that's that that's a huge weight lifted. Because, um, what is it? Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, housing. Room and board is 14K. And tuition is 14K. Like, that takes off. Like I don't have to pay room and board anymore. Now right. I just pay for a house where I don't have restrictions. I don't have um to wait to let people in. I don't have to, you know, like. I'm going to RA checking on me yeah, every, every five minutes. Yes, bro. Like, I mean, our roommate was always when we had that problem like that. But still, like, you know, it's just like just little stuff. Where, like, we don't have to do anymore. Like, we had somebody crash on the couch over the weekend. Like, you know, we, we had other people just come through, yada, 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 do whatever, you know, don't have to worry about it. I mean, you know, I'm 21, so I can, I can drink and stuff like that, you know, I don't have to worry about bringing it on campus and things of that nature. Like, 
you know, it's just a whole bunch of stuff that we just don't have to worry about on top of money we don't have to pay to them and pay to something that we can keep this this place long term. Like, you know, like it's just because I mean, we're renting it, but like, you know, we keep this place long term. Like, that's it's a blessing, bro. Like, it, it really is. But uh, you, any, any more comments about that or anything? All right, cool, cool, cool. So, um, you know, we're about ooh, that's twenty minutes in. So, um, we're gonna get to the next topic, and that's really going back to school and everything. Um, I'm gonna just say this, bro. How was your first week, man? <laughs> How was first week, dog? First week, tiring, tiring as usual. You didn't even start till like Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, cause you know, Morgan playing with people's money. It's professors, okay. not professors, turning in grades. not turning in grades. <laughs> For the for the second semester in a row, starting late again, but it's all, it's all good. Uh, you see, us throwing a darty, money out my pockets. Thing. That's a whole other thing, man. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. First week was a uh, tiring, but it was a great week, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie, we we had a lot of stuff planned for the semester too, and we just we've been doing our thing. We started off strong first, you feel me? So we gonna keep pushing. Yeah. Um, first week was. Interesting to say the least. Um, it was long and a bit tiring, but at the same time, it felt good. Felt good to be back, but like it was like after the second day of me like dapping everybody up, yo, what's my nigga? Like, I ain't seen you in a while, yada yada yada. That I was like, oh, fuck. this is it. Cause I graduate in the spring. I know you spring, graduate in potentially fall. in the fall and everything, but like for me, I'm like, nah, this the end game. Like, I'm really not gonna see all y'all after spring. Like for real, unless it's homecoming or like we yeah. link it on a regular. Yeah, like I just like cause you know last year, right? So you know we come back from COVID. I ain't seen these people in two years, basically. And I'm just like, man, dude, I, I really miss, you know, I really miss campus. I missed out on a lot of stuff. I was president of Smooth. I was um, doing choir still. I was trying to get in my major more. I ended up being the head of a podcast and everything, which I told you I was the reason why I stopped doing this podcast a lot. But this time, I'll be doing both. Best believe that, because I'm going to get this stuff done. You ain't got a choice. I'm going to beat his ass. Choice, bro. <laughs> but, like, just, I, I was trying to make up for lost time. Now? I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to, like, I'm locking in. Like, I locked in last year, yada, yada, yada. I still kind of lollygagged a little bit. But now it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a journalist. Like, I got I to gotta be talking to people. I got to be trying to get my jobs. I got I to gotta make money because I, I have a crib. Like, you know, it's just so many different things. I, I have a totally different mentality because I stayed here. Oh, we stayed here over the summer Facts. and everything. So it's just like, like this, this, this ain't a game. Like, Bro, it's it's like, not a game. I be I be thinking about it like we got friends graduating and stuff like Chauncey's out in the fall, bro. Dang, you right, bro. I forgot. Like Chauncey, that was like one of my first friends on campus. He's out in the fall, bro. Kai too, right? Kai too. Like, bro, it's like people that we saw every day. Every like, day. Every day. Like every day, chilling every day. I still remember I was up in Thurgood and Chauncey would be crashing on my couch. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. <laughs> No, like, Next day, bro. throwing him a towel, like, bro, go take a shower, bro. We got class. <laughs> like, like, bro, it's like, it's crazy, bro. And I just feel like we really didn't have that real college experience that everybody talks about, bro. Like, we had our first spring semester six months ago. Exactly. Mind our you. first full spring semester. That's crazy, man. Our first I Love Morgan week. As first juniors. Month. As juniors. Juniors. Juniors, bro. Juniors. Had our second homecoming last fall. Oh, it's it's about to be bro. our third. It's about to be our third, bro. We lit. And we we lit. We lit. <laughs> we lit. <laughs> we lit. <laughs> we lit, dog. But it's like. Nah, like I was, I've been thinking about that heavy recently, though, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. Man. We all about to be out of here, bro. Like done. It's really, it's really end game now, bro. It's really just grind and get out and go into the real world. Now, of get course, we have our funds, though. Oh, oh we got most definitely, <laughs> we got, most yeah. definitely, bro. Yeah, we're, most definitely, we're still gonna have our fun and everything, but it's like, nah, this is really like it. Facts. Like this is it. Like there, there is like, of course, 
of course there's stuff after this. Like we're gonna have our job and stuff. Justin, Justin, he got companies lined up and you know, yeah. just a regular guy, just he a regular just, guy, a regular a uh, super guy. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I mean, you know, I got opportunities lining up for me and stuff that I'm praying on it. And of course, I'm praying on it for my guy as well. But it's like. You know, we, like we're we're really getting to the point where this 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 isn't a game anymore. Like, we we can't just fail a class. Like, we can't just lollygag off and and miss and be absent for stuff because if they count attendance, it's raps. Like, you got that one hard teacher. Like, you, you know, you can't get suspended for a little. It can't be on academic probation. Like, I mean, of course, we weren't trying to do that regardless. But like now, it's really like, no, I cannot do that at all. Like. The mistakes that I can make have dwindled. It, they've really dwindled, man. And, like, I, I kind of want get, to get to the point of um, the differences between, like, like freshman year and now. Like, like for me, it's seeing all these freshmen on campus, and I feel like I'm still a freshman sometimes. That's a fact. Like, it, it really – because I never got that, that – that experience that I waited so long for all the way. Granted, I had a blast with the time we did have on campus. Of course, I'm just talking about on campus because, of course, we still did our stuff online, got our got the job done. But it's like seeing these people back on campus, seeing some of these freshmen wilding, wilding, bro. To, I, the, to I, the max. Bro, like we was wilding, but then like when, when 25 came in last year, that day wilding. was wilding. And this class. Wilding. <sighs> Whole nother level, man. Yeah, bro. Every year it gets worse. I swear, bro. And and it's it's the COVID kids, as they say now, man. Yeah, cause they ain't, they ain't have no freedom, bro. They, no they was freedom. on lockdown. They was really on lockdown. They was really <laughs> <laughs> like like imagine us being on lockdown when we were still in high school and then coming to college, and being like freedom, 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 like. <laughs> I I mean I don't blame them, but at the same time, like yo, I feel like y'all just don't have home training. For real, like. It's a lot of like things that they do that you like, like bro, you don't walk into the refat, the refat, a spot where everybody eats on school grounds and and just light up, like. No, you're lying. Yeah. You're lying. That was last year, bro. Last year they did. In the spring, yes. No, you're. Bro, you're lying. I swear. You saw it? No, there's a video. Well, I didn't see it by, like in person, but there's a video, in the refat, just lit up a blunt, like. <laughs> like, bro, what? I'm a, that's that's I'm a, I'm a collaborator. That's ridiculous. Like on some real shit, that's ridiculous. No, actually, what, what's been blowing me this year? They've been sparking up everywhere, all around campus. Everywhere. I'm talking about on places like middle of the day, on just one of like the little side tables. <sighs> yeah, you in there, bro? I'm like the fuck. Like, exactly. Yo, like this is like at least back in our freshman year, like they, they would did at nighttime. Or if they did, least. they I'm not gonna lie, they still were hid to smoke. Like they didn't do the own campus. They just doing it broad daylight. Don't even care. I'm like, yo, it, they didn't even do this last year like that. But this year, I'm like, yo, I'm walking around campus like, what? Like y'all go here? Like, bro, it's and you go into the parking garage, get hit with a wave of just. Gas. I'm like, damn. What? Yeah, bro. Nah, they, bro. Why do you think that you have you never seen the the morning police drive through the uh the parking lot, not the parking lot, the uh garage? I have seen a few times. Bro, times. that's what they're looking for because, bro, it'd be smelling like straight gas in there. People just hop nah, box the car and dip off. That's crazy, bro. That's that's a whole nother level of like crazy right there. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> because but some of the other things like. I mean, shoot, because we're running campus now. Well, smooth, A smooth. A smooth. <laughs> smooth running campus, but like just the fact of like our age group is running campus. Like we are the top dogs. Like we are the seniors. Like we are the of course, You got the super school. seniors and stuff like that, but like we are like the official, like four, fourth year, we're, we're the seniors. And nice. it's like, yo, like these little niggas look up to us. For real. You know, like uh, I remember with like. Uh, Aaron Rell and all them like sometimes they like when I was president of Smooth last year they was like yeah I look at you like a dad like I thought you was like a dad for real he's the way you yell at me or, like you know just trying to you know being Make sure firm about yeah. what I'm saying and everything and I was like I mean I could see it because I know my voice is strong but like it's like dang I was just 
the the kid who was looking up to the the past smooth e board and stuff or the other like leaders on campus like oh with Erica being uh Miss Morgan looking up at her like dang that's that's Miss Morgan right. especially cuz I didn't know nobody coming here cuz I mean you knew some people cuz you know New York travels well to Morgan I ain't gonna lie I'm y'all trying to know well, well. you you know nobody I only knew like three people I knew t- one but that's I knew only, one that's only cuz when I came here I literally came to Morgan because I didn't know no friends or no one coming here. I was like, bro, I'm not trying to go to a school where I know everybody. <laughs> I felt yeah. that too. I mean, because I, back home, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to UW, Milwaukee, or um, Madison, or, you know, I actually, I, I just didn't want to go to a white school. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to do that at all. But, like, coming here, like, just seeing all these different people, like, grown, grown men, bro, grown men, grown women. And being like, yeah, I want to be like them by the time I see you you're coming around for real. And I'm not going to lie, we started off good. First day, suits. <sighs> Looking great. Remember first day, freshman year. I'm not going to lie, freshman year, I didn't even dress up in a suit. I saw everybody else dressing up, and I was I'm like, like, oh, what I miss? Yeah. like <laughs> First day, y'all all got suits, y'all all fly. What's going on? Yeah. But now, you got to think about it. That's how the freshmen looking at us now. That's true, bro. Like, uh, when we, uh, who was it? It was me and Josiah. Someone had came up to us, and they were like, like what's going on? Like why y'all dressed up? We're like we were smooth, but at Morgan every Monday, it's professional Monday. You dress up every first Monday specifically, but yeah. But we do. You feel me? We do every Monday. But, yeah. but the last Monday of the month. But the last me? Monday, the last Monday. But yeah. So he was like, "Oh shoot! Like I'm about to start doing it now." And it's like that's how that's how you spread the culture, bro. That's, that's how you keep it going. That's how you keep it going, bro. No, that's that's for real. But like I, f- I feel like sometimes, like. Cause we we were just talking about how they was wilding. Like we, I feel like those old guys that be like, we ain't had this back in, back then, and and you know we wasn't doing this. We was wilding, but we <laughs> wasn't wilding like that back right then. You know that that like that type of stuff. Um, especially like how I see they, the new Thurgood and everything. And I'm like, man, I wish I would have had that when I was like, we don't got, even got me started on that. Y'all bro. was living in the trap Thurgood. I was real life <laughs> in the trap Thurgood, bro. Rats and everything. Rats, roaches, yeah. fucking. Never forget when my mom dropped me off, bro. She said, what the fuck? I said, oh, <laughs> she was like, this is where you stayed? I was like, I was like yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what? I'm like, what's wrong? Like, She was like, no. <laughs> she's like, what happened to Rollins? I was like, but I got a kitchen. Like, <laughs> She was not jacking at all. She was like, yeah, have fun, bro. She bought me Ray. She bought me my sticky traps. She said, yeah, get settled. And then what? A few weeks later, you was like, "Oh, I see what she's talking about." Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, that's that that that's accurate. Cause I mean, you saw me. I live in an OC. I'm looking like, uh, hey, yeah, like, what like what the this, hell? This like, is really the trap over here, bro. Like, I can't be walking at night alone, walking from uh, Rawlins to OC and everything. For those of you who don't know, Rawlins to O'Connell, uh, which is OC, um, that's a trap. It's like a if you walk in at a regular pace, it's a ten minute walk. If you walk like me, you can make it seven. Because <laughs> I, I walk fast. I mean, if, you, if you're him too, you can make it. You can never make it six if you're if you're Justin for real. Because you you be you be trapping too. That kind of takes me back to uh, engineering to Thurgood. Nice nice walk, bro. Uh, great. Walk. Then back from the engineering to the business building and right back over there, bro. No, so let's uh, actually let's, let's let's take it back to freshman year a little bit, kind of like uh, I mentioned before, like uh, I met him freshman year back when I was still a English uh, second uh, creative writing secondary education major, um and everything, and uh, you was computer engineer, right and everything. So like um we met through an English class and everything. And I saw that my boy like anime and like he was just cool people who used to always have these headphones on all the time. <laughs> yeah, bro, how to block out the haters. <laughs> your, your, your signature, bro. That was your signature, bro. If I was if I was walking around, I was looking for you. I was always looking for the headphones, bro. That's every a fact, bro. Every time, every bro. time. That was your trademark. I mean, he used to have hair too, so it was, yeah. it was the hair with the rest we, in peace, bro. Rest we in don't want to get them, them uh, Hispanic dudes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace to the hair, bro. Hey, New up, journey, bro. bro. New journey. New journey, bro. Hey, bro, you got a lot of likes on the story, cause you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, like freshman year, like I remember going back to your crib and just uh, in Thurgood, cause it was you know it was easy to get in Thurgood, and just you know just sitting there and watching anime and stuff like that. Uh, you and Troy and uh, Troy and Andy, first two people that I met at Morgan for real, for real. 
and you know just go chilling there with you and stuff like that and nice. then like i just remember we kept talking about like um being roommates and stuff like that oh, over uh like a few different times because i was like yo i'm trying to go go to morgan view yada 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 and you was trying to go too and then when it was supposed to be me you like Obi and like chauncey or something that yeah. was supposed to be the original for right yeah but then you ended up being with a day mm-hmm. and he was an ra right away right no a day didn't become an ra so i think the year you came yeah, yeah, I came. You came. That that's when, yeah that's when he became an oh, RA. But cause that a day was his original room. Shout out a day, bro. Such such a great guy. The bro. goat, the fucking goat. Bro. That's a guy. That's my African man, bro. That's that's a that's a great African brother right there. Right there. Uh, that's no, a great no, guy. Seriously, he's African. That's what I was, that's why I said that. Uh, Nigerian prince. Nigerian prince, man. Come on, how the waves be on ten <laughs> every time, bro. Every time, right? What are you talking about, bro? But like, just you know, we kind of manifested a lot of the stuff because. We wanted a room together, yada, yada, yada. Remember, I was supposed to come um, in the summer, yeah. in the summer of fall 2020, because we thought we was all going to come at the campus. But then my parents was like, what's the point? Nobody's going to be there anyway. So I just deferred my lease, but I still had the room secure. Right. Because it was, um, yeah, because I had been asking them about it, yada, 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 so it wasn't going to be a problem. Because it was just you and a day in there, right? Yep. So like and Isaac was there too. Yeah, Isaac. the goat, the other goat, right? The there. Isaac, that's another African prince right there. <laughs> another goat. Uh so um, let's turn on video then. Oh, okay, I see what happened. No, nah, I'm we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, so like, kind of like, I ended up not going, and then like sometimes I Facetime you, be like, how my room looking? You know what I'm saying? Not <laughs> like, how my room looking, bro? Like I'm trying to see, trying to see, trying to see the room and everything, bro. But like, kind of talk about how um, that um, that time being like in Morgan View, while nobody was really there, like you're on campus without even being on campus. One of the few people who actually decided to go on campus and to a lot of just colleges around the country and around the world, really. So how was like that experience? I'm yeah. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. People might think I'm lying. People might think I'm chatting. But that might have been the best like experience of my life, bro. Like, really? like actually, just off the fact that, bro, this was before you had all the security on dick everywhere around Morganview, <laughs> bro. Like, bro, I would dead ass just like wake up, class, say, "Yo, day, what you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I'm chilling." He's like, "Bro, you want to watch a show or some shit?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Just watching shows and stuff, bro. We made we made it a thing where we went out to a new restaurant every week, bro. Really? Every week. So every week we hit a different spot. Just got dressed up and shit. Went out, just did different stuff. We was also hanging out at Altus because we had a few friends at Altus. We was at Altus parties, bro. I didn't know about that. Bro, like when I tell you I was having fun, bro. Chauncey across, Chauncey across, literally walking distance from me, bro. Yeah. Him and Kai. Who else we had? We had my son Rand, too. Rand was in there, bro. Rand, he's a good guy, bro. Shout out, Rand. For real, my boy Medi was in Marble Hall. Yeah. Like, like, bro, when I tell you, like, it wasn't as bad as like people probably thought it was, bro. Like, it was really a good time. Like, I, I swear, like, bro, we had people over twenty four seven. If I was in, people were at our crib. I was at their crib. That's all we did, bro. Everybody hung out every day. Like, it was, it was really cool, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Schoolwork was was a little hectic, <laughs> a little hectic. But last day I had to so make out. Your like, classes are always. Oh, the ma- is when your major really start. I mean, really for computer engineering, though, y'all start like right away. But nah, yeah. but nah, continue though. Nah, yeah, it was just like, it was cool, bro. Like, if you, I'm not gonna lie, Julian, if you were there, bro, I feel like you would have had fun. We was I'm not gonna lie, niggas didn't have jobs, so we was all broke together. Like, <laughs> we was all broke together, bro. Everyone figure out how they gonna eat. It's like shit. I, well, I got a hundred to my name. Well, I got a hundred. We splitting groceries. He's <laughs> like, fuck it. <laughs> No, nah, that's that's for real. That's that's for real, bro. Nah, I mean, yeah. they ain't, no, but you started the internship when though? The I one started that joint. Uh, oh, the it, was, it was fall twenty twenty. But remember, I was trying to get my car, so I was saving OD that bread, bro. Right. So you forced yourself to start, basically. Yeah, and the day was he worked that summer, so he was just going off of what he had saved up. Mm. So it was like, I'm not gonna lie, that really taught me how to like balance out my money and stuff, though, like. That really, like, helped me out a lot, I'm not going to lie. Especially, like, saving-wise and stuff. Come mm. I'm lie, that first paycheck, bro, never saw that much money in my life. That shit was gone. <laughs> that shit was gone, bro. Like, 
never saw bands on bands in my fucking account, bro. I was like, I'm telling you, computer science and computer engineering, bro, like, engineering them jobs and them internships, if you have the right one, especially because we know the right guy, good guy, shout out Justin, bro, with a Y. Mr. Lewis, bro. <laughs> Mr. Lewis. Uh, yeah, but like, if you know the right one, bro, you can hang some bait, boy. Hey, but if you, if, if you can't do it, don't, don't do it, please. You just I, I, gonna waste your time. Do it. I, I recommend you do it. No, you're gonna waste your time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if, imagine me with computer engineering. Bro, you stuff. can do it, bro. No. Julian, you can do whatever major you want. No, you just bro. choose not to do it. Bro, you know how uninterested I get when it comes to stuff I don't like, bro. See, but... I get so uninterested so quick, See, but bro. if you were into it, you would do it. No, that's why I say. If I was into it, that's a different story because the same thing with journalism. Like, I hate it sometimes because it is a little tedious, but, like, when I put out a good story or, like, a good... Some, like, podcast or something like that, I mean, like... Nah, this is this this was fun. Like, yeah, like I, I I like this, you know, uh, especially when people you know comment back on it. I mean, cause that that that's my prerogative, though. You know what I mean? That, that's my, that's yeah, my yeah. brain. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, no, nah, I, I didn't, cause you told me about the uh, the semester, so how y'all you know had people over and stuff like that. You know, had people over. You know, what yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 but like, you know, it was a. Uh, I ain't know about the the restaurant part or like uh, how you know. I forgot about Medi, bro. Medi, shout out Medi, bro. Cool. My boy out in ATL making money. You, you right. I remember he told us because he graduated in that fall semester, right? Yup. W man making bro. money, bro. Brad, 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 Brad. <laughs> shout out to Med, bro. Keep that shit up for real. I'm telling you, bro. Find find your stuff and uh, you know, keep it going from there. But uh, we fast forward a little bit because in fall 2020, um, going into spring 2021, I um, what did I do? Uh, uh. Uh, changed my major and everything going into uh, the semester and stuff has to move that's when I was uh, interim president basically because the, the president didn't um, show up so I had to pick it up online while not even being on campus directing people to do stuff stressing I was directing people to do stuff 900 miles away stressing crazy <laughs> stressing stressing <laughs> nah spring 2021 was probably my favorite time I didn't was cool because that was when I didn't contact anybody. And I had no problem not contacting anybody. So, like, it wasn't a problem for me, for real. Like, I just, I didn't contact nobody. Like, but I was having fun, like, list, learning new things in my major. Just, um, just kind of improving on, on myself, you know? Like, a lot of that stuff really, it really helped me and it really you know, got me to the point where I was able to run smooth when I came back. I was able to get into my major and being like, nah, I'm going I'm to do everything that I got to do to make sure that I'm putting myself in a position to be in positions where people know my name, they know my work, I'm doing all that stuff. So then I go into the semester, hit the ground running, which when we talked about earlier, like, you know, like when, when everybody was back, it was on a cracking. We was going to have fun, but we was going to get stuff done, like, for real. And so that you know, then I I Facetime y'all and all that type of stuff right before I come in and stuff like that. Drive all the way in the whip to to Baltimore. That's, that's a that's a that's a drive, bro. It's a drive, man. Twelve plus hours, bro. Every time, every time. <laughs> I, I gotta give it to you, bro. You got your props, bro. That's Thank that's you. a that's a drive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, that's that's a trap. But like you know, we we go into the spring semester, right? And you know, I. I you see, you wearing a shirt right now and stuff like that. And, you know, we, we first started being roommates and stuff like that. And I literally told him right away. I was like, yo, you got to like, you gotta join Smooth because Smooth had a bad moniker, you know, Brad, bad reputation. But because, and, and this is why I say, like, without even trying to, like, gloat, because people knew me and knew I was a stand-up guy and, like, because, um, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm, you know, I don't be fooling around like that, like that. I have, I talk to a lot of different people. People know I don't be on no messy or no fuckboy stuff. Like, I ain't no hoe. Like, you know, I just, I'm just a really stand-up type dude for Bobby real. God right here. You know, I'm a, Bobby I'm a God. Bobby God. It's like my music. I'm a vibe, man. A you vibe, know what man. I mean? So, like, when they heard that I was a part of Smooth, like, when I remember when I told you I was, I was Smooth Prez and stuff. You was like, really? It was like, I was like, yeah, bro. I was like. Interesting, you know, like, <laughs> you know, it's like talk, talk about like a little bit of that, like when you first started getting your interest and in everything, bro. Nah, yeah, because it's like you feel me, smooth rep back then. It really didn't seem like something I would get involved with. I'm like, bro, I'm I'm some type of guy. I like to lay low, bro. Just 
be behind the scenes, yeah. handle my business, go to class. Ah, uh-uh. now you be out all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's like it's crazy. When I, I, so this is how I first realized like y'all was really doing some good stuff. Cause remember I had a uh, Instagram live thing. I think you came to talk on one time. Did I? Yeah, you came to talk on uh, my masked off thing for Afros. So it was for Men's Empowerment Month. So I did that. I then I remember you had your own little joint that you was doing on live for Smooth that one time. I was in the car. Yeah, I had Monka on there and I had uh, Chad on there. That was yep. during spring 2021, right? Mm-hmm. No, spring 2020. No, one. Wait. Fuck. Yeah, spring 2021. So I'd be mixing the year because, you know, we start off in the year and then we, yeah, whatever. But yeah, continue. No, yeah, so you feel me? I saw that. Went on that, did that. And then once it came to the semester, well, this was before. This one was just talking on the phone before you moved in. I was like, bro, I'm trying to join. I'm like, what's up? What's up with smooth, bro? You're like, bro, just look out for the interest meeting, bro. You're like, I'm going to look out. He's like, because I know your, your worth ethic. I know the type of guy you are. I'm going to look out, bro. I'm like, all right, bet. This fall came around. I was on it. <laughs> on, on it, it bro. You was on it. I ain't going to lie. You, on it, bro. You, Jamal, and Ron, y'all was, y'all, y'all, y'all was main three. I was really on it for real. Yeah, bro. I was on it. I hit up Julian. I was like, bro. I see him every day. I'm like, bro. This is my roommate. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and bro, Morgan, do you interest me? I walk in deep, deep, bro. No, it was definitely pretty deep. It was, it was deep. It was about 30, 40, 30, 40 people in there, I think. Mm-hmm. And the other one, though, it was like 50, I think. Like the online one we had, the informational, yeah. that one was deeper, even deeper. Mm-hmm. But some people didn't show up. We ain't gonna talk about that. Um, <laughs> but it was. Yeah, it, it was deep, bro. And then you went through the process. You did all the things you're supposed to do. Of course, we ain't going to spoil the process and things of that nature. But, um, again, SMOOTH it stands for Strong Men Overcoming Obstacles Through Hard Work. Um, a men's empowerment organization, but we host lit events and stuff like that as well, and we do things for the community. We're a community service organization first. Um, just want to make sure that is made plain. So, like, you know, we throw stuff and things of that nature, but at the same time, we get work done. We get work done. And I always, like, during my presidency, I always made it known. I was like, yo, like, if y'all want to have fun, y'all want to have y'all parties, y'all want to do all that stuff, y'all want to be all that with the girls and yada, 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 y'all have to have to show up to different things. Granted, of course, some people still got away with a few different things. But overall, we set out, we did what we set out to do. And we got our good people. I'm so glad my boy joined and everything. I told him it was going to be a good experience for him. Now he be talking to smooth guys more than I do. And I was president, you know, like, <laughs> like that's just, just what it, I mean, I'm just saying, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm just an antisocial guy. Like I, I'm social, but I'm antisocial. Julian, it, he's not see. antisocial. His social media gets run out fast. My social media gets run out fast, but yours is way quicker than mine, bro. I don't, I wouldn't say that. It's more so like, a lot of people do things that I don't want to do. I feel that. So, beca- I mean, I ain't going to say what it is and stuff like that. But, like, you know, well, I got one of them was drinking and stuff like that. And it's just, for me, like, it's just not something I want to do all the time. And then the other things as well. And I'm like, I just don't want to do that. And then a lot of people don't like the things that I do. I haven't found the people. Or the people that do like doing it, they a little weird. And so, like, it throws me off. And then I'm weird, but like I'm not that type of weird, you know. Like there's there's, there's levels to it, bro. And so like that's why like my friends back home, I could be with them niggas like a lot, like all the time for real, for real. But at the same time, sometimes they're like you could come out or something like that. And I'm like nah, not this time. But I, I will admit, I, it's 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 in between. But I ain't gonna lie, if I have a girl, it's raps. Cause you 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 haven't seen me when I have a girl. I've seen I've seen you I've seen you get pretty close. Well, okay, I'm talking about like with with a girl that like I'm like on the phone with. And like really texting and oh no nah, yeah I know what you mean yeah you haven't seen me with that yet like with the other girl like she was over every now and then but like we wouldn't text and call like that for real but when I like really with the girl for real like with the one when, uh, who shan't who shan't shan't be named <laughs> like I was on the I was texting her all the time I'm on Facetime and stuff well you see me sometimes when I be on Facetime. With uh, the one guy who... Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about that. Uh, <laughs> you know, with that type of stuff, you know, but... Other than that, though, nah, I just... I just can't be out all the time, bro. I just... I like my me time. <laughs> back to that. That woman topic. We can't talk about that. Yeah, we can't. We can't talk about that, stress. <laughs> Too much stress, bro. I'm stressing already just thinking about it, bro. You can't even talk about it, bro. Uh, but... 
just um a little bit of the uh, you know we just ended up living together and things of that nature and uh, being a part of Smooth and doing all these different things together and it was it was a vibe for real bro like we was we was vibing dog it was it was great times for real man um just having roommates was really different for me um in the way that we had it because Morgan View was set up with two two people on both sides but it's one big thing I mean Isaac wasn't there I was like he just be vibing bro shout out to my guy. And then, uh, you know, day was cool, too. Really, really being around the day for real, for real. I was like, oh, no, he's really a cool nigga. Like, for real, for real. Um, and then being with you and stuff and just doing dumb stuff every now and then. Like, just that. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, you know, just stuff like that. Constant yelling in that house, bro. Constantly yelling. Constant. Time, amongst other things. We ain't. We not going to speak on. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. Just, <laughs> just, just, just being niggas, bro. You know, just, just being niggas. But just all that, and um, you know, just and then eventually being like, yo, this costs way too much. I think it was that. It was that one time when uh, we. It was like one of the first talks that we had, just sitting in the living room and stuff. We just be talking for like forty minutes and stuff. Yeah. And we was like, I, I think you said he's like, yeah, my mom want me to get out of here, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wait. Like my mom want me to get out of here. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like, it was like, nah, it's time to get out of here, for Facts. Real. And then you know, the opportunity popped up with our advisor, yada yada yada. And then, and then you know, I was like, yo, Justin, I got a, I got an opportunity now. He was like, what? Yep, yeah. <laughs> MTV Cribs, here it, we are. <laughs> type shit, type shit. Uh, and then you know, we just, we just ended up having a room now, and then just. Moving in, and then our, our roommate, uh, Mari, and of course, he was, he was on a podcast, too. We talked about it with him and stuff. And just, it was like, yo, like, we, we made it out. Like, and now we have a crib now. And just being able to do whatever we want Bucks. at any time we want, for real. Like, no matter what. Like, I mean, of course, you know, within Rio and Agoras and stuff of that nature, you know, we're, we're legal people over here, you know. <laughs> very, very legal. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you that, uh, but you know it's just it, it's really a blessing, bro. Like how things worked out because we were stressing at first. I was trying to look for different places and all that stuff, and then God provided when He did, man. Facts. Like He really did, and it everything just kind of worked out the way the way it did. Um, and you know I'm I'm just I'm just blessed, bro. Yeah. I was really saying I was like, bro, I'm trying to find a spot. I'm like, bro. Over the spot, it's just gotta be cheaper than Morgan View, bro. It's be cheaper, bro. That's it. <laughs> Nigga, it could be fifty dollars cheaper, but I was with it, bro. Like, yeah, cause like it was like all that space, like it was that little amount of space and stuff with four people, and we all paid it. Like that whole place was like a thousand total for real. So if anything, it should have been split, split four ways: two fifty, two fifty, two fifty, two fifty. Exactly. Not pretty much four thousand straight, bro. Four thousand. For something that's worth at the max two thousand. Exactly. It's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> it, it really was ridiculous. So, you know, it's just a blessing to have this, and then also our place is literally two minutes away from campus. So it just it, it really does work out that it, it really worked out well for us, and um, just just blessed to have that. And uh, so yeah, so that's really it for that for that part of the podcast and stuff like that. Just uh, with the roommates and all that type of stuff, it's it's uh, it's good. We're about fifty five minutes in, almost an hour in, so probably got about twenty more minutes left or so. But uh, just want to get into a little fun topic, yada yada yada. Uh, damn, don't look at my list, bro. Yeah, hey, man, don't look at my list, bro. Let's do that stuff, man. But um, before I get into a list of stuff, um, I just want to talk about anime a little bit, bro, because <sighs> anime is on the rise, man. Anime is on the rise. Everybody want to be part of the anime wave now. But what happened to? Oh, I'm not watching Avatar. Avatar, Avatar right? anime. Avatar is not. Anime. Exactly, <laughs> and now people talk about. I watch anime. I watch Avatar. Okay, but like, all right, all right bro. bro. Say, yeah, bro. That's that's the same thing. I'm like, yo. So like, what happened to all that anime? Ain't funny. I mean, anime is a uh, geeky. Anime is a uh, nerdy. It's childish. Cool. It's childish, bro. I just watch uh, <laughs> cartoons instead. Yada, yada, yada. Anime weird. Yada, yada, yada. Which anime is weird. I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, it's not. It's got some really cool stuff. The same thing with give and take with like Teen Titans. Teen Titans. It had weird moments and stuff like that, but everybody messed with it still. But just because it was Japanese, 
And then they would see, bro, I swear, every time you watch anime and somebody, like, pops in, it's always the weirdest part that pops up, bro. Bro, like, every my mom would walk in and see Naruto Sexy Jutsu, pair of titties on my screen. It's like, <laughs> it's like mom, like, bro, they was just fighting, bro. <laughs> I, swear I, swear, I swear, I swear they were just scrapping. I swear, bro, like, I'm not, I'm not lying, bro. I'm not lying, though. But, like, one thing I can say, like, about anime, a reason why I really want my kids to watch anime like anime teaches some life lessons, bro. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, say that. Yeah. It really teaches some life le- li- life lessons. I couldn't talk for a second. Life lessons. So like, just not, like stuff like not to never give up, stuff like that, bro. Yeah. Chase your dreams, all that, bro. The ninja way. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja way, bro. I mean, you, if you even think of like well, two of the three best animes, um, One Piece and and Naruto, the OGs. One Piece, the goat, goat piece. I call it goat piece because it's still my favorite anime. You already know. But like with Naruto and Luffy, like their character arcs of them, nobody really believed in them for real, for real. Especially Naruto, nobody believed in that nigga. And that that story was so sad, bro. But like when, like especially looking back, like Naruto's story of him, just, I mean, it's it's basically a, a type of racism. Yeah, uh, in a sense, One Piece actually deals with racism, <laughs> but that's a whole nother thing. But just with a little bit of him just not being liked by anybody and really like came out the mud, no parents, nobody really helped him. Fuck the third Okage, bro. Oh my gosh, L nigga, bro. bro. That, no, that's really an <laughs> L nigga, bro. Like, this nigga had him eating instant noodles, bro. <laughs> Every day. Every day. In that dirty ass apartment. No. Like, that shit was so grimy, bro. Like, bro, I know people were like, he was doing this to protect him. I, bro, I don't give a fuck about no Protect him? You couldn't just have him let him live in the Hokage area, bro? You, you didn't even tell, like, everybody that his, his pops was the Hokage. And that his pops died for him. Like, bro, none of, they didn't tell him none of that. Him none. So they just thinking, oh, this kid, this kid got that fox in him. He killed, he killed the fourth Hokage. Nigga, that's his son, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> like, bro. No, yeah, that's it's yeah, it, it's a whole nother thing. And if you haven't watched it, just watch it so you can get what get what we saying and stuff like that. Um, but it, it, but like you said, the life lessons with Luffy becoming pirate king, like, and I, I love the aspect when it comes to anime of friendship. Um, and even though granted they do be pulling some sh- stuff out their ass sometimes, but like a lot of the times, a lot of the times, especially fairy tale, that's a whole so, other thing. Bro, fairy, I, fairy I'm, don't crazy. even bring that show up, bro. Fairy tale is such a good show, though. Same no, time. I, bro, yes, it is, bro. That, I was cool like after the first first season and shit, <laughs> first few seasons. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm not watching. This don't thing, hurt bro. my friends. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I was like, all right, now now y'all doing too much. Now but I'm the, not watching it. But the story was really good though. It was good. <laughs> it was really good. See, keyword was <laughs> no. It no. It still is. Like I'm actually reading it right now. The the 100 year quest, bro. It was good, bro. It's still good, bro. My only thing is they should have let more niggas die. More niggas should have died. They need to do that. Fairy tale. They try to make that shit too fucking happen, bro. They t- take a page out of Kami got killed book. <laughs> like like look look at Naruto. Asuma got killed off. First, first he was one of the first people killed off. And he shouldn't it's even die, bro. It's yeah, he shouldn't even die, bro. He shouldn't even die. That man was really a demon. No, he was he was bro. And it's crazy because like we saw his story arc literally just a little before he died. And how he was like one of like the um what's it called? The the people underneath the hot Hokage who who like just be going murking niggas, bro. I forgot what they was called. I, no, he wasn't Ambo. He was one of like the Ten Shinobi or something. I don't, you, you know what I'm talking yeah, about, I bro? Yeah, I don't remember the name off Rip, but like, I mean, if it wasn't for that nigga being immortal, he would have never died in the first place. For real. Because he was fucking them up, bro. <laughs> he was for real, fucking bro. them up, bro. But like, it, but just the, the back, back to the life lessons thing, it's just like friendship, like, of just, yo, like, really be down for your niggas, even though sometimes they be meeting people, like, literally two episodes ago and they about to die for them. Yo, I'm not dying for this nigga. That I ass. just met him three three days ago. Like yeah, what? That's a fact, bro. Like yo, I don't even have like a huge bond with you yet. Like why are you? Like yo, I'm not like yeah, you you cool, but like I'm not dying over you, bro. Like <laughs> what do I look like, dog? Like, that's that's really crazy though. So, um, but you know, One Piece. Um, uh, Oda just said it's um, reaching its final, 
It's final uh, thing, bro. Like, uh, reaching its final, final few years, but we've been keeping up. I mean, that's how our friendship really grew for real. We talked about it earlier. It's just like uh, me coming over and just watching One Piece with you niggas, bro. Facts. Mind you, I wasn't even caught up on One Piece at the time either. Nah, yeah. I was just, I was, I was trying binging, to bro. Like, binging. Like, when I tell you it was bad, me and Julian would lose track of time watching it. Like, yeah. he'd be like, Oh shit! It's seven o'clock. Go to refac. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, me too, bro. It's about to close. I eat. I gotta eat. I gotta eat real quick. Niggas bro. got one day. Got got whatever scraps they had left. Mm, Maybe the bowl of cereal. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but nah, bro. Cereal, like, I was really binging. Like, that's really, really how relationship started. It was like, bro, you you passed by. I was like, bro, you was like, what you doing? I'm like, watching One Piece. Oh, Troy was in that bitch too. He was he was laid up, laid across the bed and shit, chilling. I was sitting in the chair shit. right in front of the TV, just, just yeah. vibing, bro. Still remember that TV? Rest in peace, my Samsung. <laughs> he broke it? No, I sold that shit. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Probably like 200. Because that shit was kind of, I'm not going to lie, bro. Word? You had spent that shit for 200? Bro, I had that shit for like 10 years, bro. Like, Man, I might need to sell one of my TVs. <laughs> yeah, I don't even need that shit. No I know somebody going to need a TV. Yeah? Exactly, for sure. bro. Yep. Somebody always need a TV. Mm-hmm. Like it's 4K. I said, nope, 1080p. <laughs> They're like, I'll take it. I was like, all right. For two, bro, you finessed. Yeah, bro. They must have really needed it. Yes, they did, bro. <laughs> and it's like 1080p. Well, it's pretty decent size TV. It's probably like like that size right there. Was it really that size? Yeah, it just had the sand at the bottom. Hmm. I think I'm nice tripping, TV. bro. I don't I don't remember everything for real, for real. But uh, yeah, like One Piece, man. I, it really. I, I think when I was watching it with y'all. And then going into spring 2021 semester, uh, right be- the semester before we came back, like I binged it again. Oh, yeah, and, I that. and after I binged it again, and that's when I wasn't talking to nobody. I literally was, bro, my life was literally One Piece, DoorDash, podcast, school, school, because I just changed my major. That was it. <laughs> that was it, bro. That was literally all I was doing, bro. I wasn't talking to nobody. I wasn't texting nobody. Like, I genuinely do not remember texting people. Like, I don't remember texting people like that. I don't remember calling people like that. I remember, like, my group chats, kind of. Like, I had a basketball group chat and stuff like that. But other than that, I wasn't I wasn't doing nothing. I was literally, I was so locked in, bro. Like, I was locked in, trying to make bread, trying to, you know, get in my major and do that type of stuff, bro. That's all I was doing, for real. <laughs> So that, but you know, watching One Piece and all that stuff, and then just uh, it was it was great, man. It, it was, you, it was great times, bro. Great times, for real. Great times, man. Now I might have to rewatch One Piece again. I'm thinking you're not about, gonna do it, bro. You don't have the time, bro. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You're not gonna do it, bro. I'm gonna do it. You already know I'm multitask, bro. You do. You be watching like five things at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it might just have to happen, bro. I'm gonna start today. <laughs> I'm being so serious. I'm about to start today. Dang, nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I've been thinking about rewatching something. All you gonna hear is all your whole injury. <laughs> <room, bro. laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> but um, our last thing before we get out of here and everything um, is uh, I want so who are your favorite side characters in anime? Like the the people besides Naruto and and Luffy and Itadori and Deku and all them people, the people who you just being like, man. If they had their own show, I would watch that shit. Like I would really watch that shit, and maybe even more than original. So, or who who you, who you got, bro? First on my list, Gojo. Gojo is first on my list, bro. Something about the white haired sensei. Like I just want to know how he got to that point, bro. I do like, want to know, bro. How he got to that point where like the baddest of the bad is fearing you, bro. <laughs> Before you even pull up to the spot, like no, really. like imagine this, bro. This nigga's, this so in the movie, this nigga's fighting on completely other side. You gotta teleport to get over there, and the nigga that they're fighting over there, it's like, bro, I gotta hurry up before this nigga get back. <laughs> like, like I gotta finish this shit and get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, that's rid- like, bro, that's crazy. Like to get to that point, bro. I don't, I don't know, bro. I, I really don't understand how he's that strong, bro. And I, I, I wanna, I, I really wanna see Ghetto fight him. Um, that's a whole nother thing. But Gojo, no, he is one of the like most OP niggas I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, right. It's kind of similar to like One Punch Man of like how he's just that strong, and you're like, yo, like why are you this strong? 
No, and facts. One Punch Man has kind of been explained. Um, you don't read the manga though, do you? Do you? One Punch Man. Yeah. Oh, I read that. Bro. Oh, you read that? Yeah. So they mentioned why it's something about like untapped power or something of, of that nature. Mm-hmm. Some program they had. I don't know. Either way, he broke the scales and yada yada yada. We gonna learn more about it probably. They also confirmed season three. Oh yeah, I saw that on Twitter. They confirmed it. I can't wait to see God in action. <sighs> Garo versus one punch, bro. Garo versus Saitama. Break the internet, bro. It's For gonna real, bro. Break the action. That whole arc is gonna break the internet of them invading. That gonna break the internet, bro. But uh, one of one of my favorite uh, side characters uh, started off. Um, Rock Lee, bro. Official. Official. Hands, Hands. is official. <laughs> Hands is official, bro. Hands is official, my nigga. Like. Uh, one th- scene I will never forget, bro. It's when he was, they was in the fucking tuning stands, and God, like, yo, you can take them shits off, my nigga. Bro, <laughs> like, hey. finally, guys, sensei. Everyone's just like, doom. Everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> they was like, they can't be that. that that's what I'm saying, that, bro. Baby. And it was like, what? Yo, they built him up so well, so so well, and it's like. He after that he was my favorite character. What's the fact? He was my favorite character, and it's like he, he really was my favorite character, bro. Like he made the Chuni exams what it was. Like his fight versus Gara was like the first of things. Like yo, you watched that? Yada yada yada. Like that was one of the ones where everybody was like, yo, did you watch that? Because of course Naruto and Dragon Ball Z were the two animes that everybody watched. Um, but no, nah, it really was like him. Like he's him, bro, and he got written off. Which happens to a lot of the a few of the characters that I have on here, and did you ever think about this, bro? What this nigga took on a tailed beast, bro? Basically, Gar was really had the infinite chakra, and this nigga was fucking him up. <laughs> 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 this nigga has the best defense, the first, ultimate bro. defense, the ultimate defense that just keeps regenerating. Don't matter what the fuck you do, all of a sudden he he dropping sand off the body and shit. Bro, he was th- fucking that nigga. Up. Bro, that was insane, insane. And what made it what made it better is the fact that the 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 main characters of the show, which is Naruto, and then of course Sasuke after that, they was struggling, struggling with that man, like straight up struggling. And it, it, and it made it even better the fact that it was Rock Lee who fought him, then Sasuke fought him, then Naruto at the end fought him, and because they showed the progression of Naruto even more, it made him shine even more. And being like, he's that strong to where he beats somebody that injured Rock Lee heavily, who injured uh, and was almost killed Sasuke. Sasuke. Almost killed Sasuke. And then he beat him almost without his tail beast, basically. Almost without him. For real. Um, very close. Very close. But, but was, no, no, no. Because that was at the time he started stealing uh, Night Tail Fox Chakra. Oh, Remember? yeah, that is true. He started using his chakra reserves in order to beat other people. Jirai the Goat taught him that. Yes, sir. Jirai the Goat. Jirai the Goat. Go. Rest in peace, my name. But um, who, who, who else you got on the list, man? Uh, shit. That nigga Shoto, bro. From My Hero. W. 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 Man. W. Man. Like, Shoto is... Like, he's crazy, bro. Let me tell you that. But that, that man Shoto, bro? Not for a while? Straight demon. No, he's a menace, bro. They built him up really nice. Bro. Built him up really nice, bro. That man, Shoto, bro. I'll never forget that first fight with him. And with that the... <laughs> Yo. Bro. That nigga was... Mind you, Deku's power was unstable at that point. You feel me? But it so, still was strong as shit. Because he could only use at 100%. That's all he could do. Yep. So, one finger flick is 100%. And you just eating that shit. You... <sighs> <laughs> like that, it was that fight was one of another one of the first ones of like the new age anime that broke the internet. Yep. Um yeah. But I oh, cuz the first one was when Deku no, was when uh All Might fought the Nomu. Oh yeah, and they was throwing hands. Hands. hands, hands. Bro. He said da, 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 da. They all crazy. Bro, nah, that shit was really the Nomu whole power was to absorb All Might and All Might just fucking... He said, let's see how much you can take. take. He said, I'm not even at 100%. I said, oh, <laughs> shit. And they just kept speeding up. Nah, but I want to see how he develops as a character, like, going down, because as uh, Endeavor said, like, this is the perfect... Do you read the manga? Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, then you know, seen, you seen I, a little I, bit. I was yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, Endeavor did say he was the perfect like version of him, basically, yeah. bro. And that's that's what made him that much more interesting, and why I, I love him as a character also. Because um, you know, of course, for those of y'all who watch anime and things of that nature, and watch my hero, uh, shout out Ken P because we definitely talked about that on a episode. I think it was episode five of the podcast. Go go look back at that episode um, because he watches my hero and everything. Word word. And you know, it, it speaks to the fact of he can be that guy, but. Because of his mental stuff and the stuff he deal with, with his dad and everything, that's what makes him so much more complex Facts. and makes him be like, I like him because I, I can relate to him. Because, you know, a lot of people have either father issues or father problems and things that, and uh, just, you know, a lot of things going on with the family and it prevents them from being them true self, their true selves and everything. So, like, I, yep. I felt like the, he was written so well. For real, he, he was written so well, bro. And... His fights and he did get nerfed a little bit sometimes because he still be holding back too much. Yeah, bro. But he's, niggas gonna see. They he, gonna see. They gonna see. They gonna see, they gonna see what, what's this? Uh, not a war. He don't do too much. But bef- but uh, where we at now? Where he fights? Oh, I can't. I ain't gonna spoil. Bro, that. I, like, I feel <laughs> like he's gonna get some crazy shit. Like it might develop that. You know the dude he hit the move with. He ain't dead yet too. That's the crazy thing. He going crazy right now. I was like, I, I, it was like last chapter. I think it was the chapter before. The, the chapter before the one that came out today. He oh, when, yeah. when I saw him still like burning and stuff, and so I'm like, what the I fuck? thought he was dead. Like nah, I thought he was yeah, done, bro. bro. But this man burning to to be about to crumble and shit. I was like, yo, you're crazy. But um, another guy on my list, um, Black Star. <laughs> one of my favorite, like top three anime characters of all time for me. He fits me so well. Like, if, okay, so th- think about me real quick. Mm-hmm. Loud mouth <laughs> does stupid shit. Yeah, I mess up a lot, but I can just you know just keep going for real. You know, just be goofing for real. Facts. You know, I just you know I, I say some dumb shit, but like I may not be able to back it up right away. But like, nah, <laughs> like I'm gonna still I'm gonna still say that shit. I'm still say that shit. You know what I mean? So like, it's, Black Star, he, I, I love him, bro. I, I love him, bro. Like as a character, man. Um, pause. Uh, I love him as a character a lot, bro, because it's just that never give up attitude. He's a loud mouth, you know, but he, he just keeps working, bro. He just That's keeps working, dog. And, and, you know, people, they they mess with him. Even though he irritating, they, they still mess with him because, you know, he stays true to himself and he never changed. Never changed. And then the manga, the power ups that he got. <sighs> Did you read the manga from Soul Eater? Bro, the manga ending was so much better. Soul Eater, the manga, I'm not gonna lie, the they manga gotta was. Animate it. They, they, have, they have to. They gotta make a Soul Soul Eater Brotherhood or Soul That's Eater what I'm saying. Or something, something, bro. bro. Just they, bro, I'm not gonna lie, they need to pick that shit up. They like, have to, bro. Like Mop, imagine Moppa did it. <sighs> if they did it, it's up. Bro. <laughs> imagine if Moppa did it. It's oh! up. If they do it, bro. If they do it, it's up. <laughs> or the, or the, ooh, you know who'd be even better? The, the people who do, um, um, oh, what's his name? That do mob psycho, bro. If they animation is just through the fucking roof, bro. If they did it through the roof, bro, it'd be insane. It'd be insane. But uh, who who else you got, bro? You don't like this one. Wait, hold on, wait. Uh, before you say that though, uh, Black Star versus uh Samurai nigga, top tier fight. That's a top top fight. top tier top tier fight. Top Qu- tier. Continue though. Zoro. You already. You already Zoro, bro. Guy. Yeah, Zoro, oh my bro. God. <laughs> I'm on your mother's too. Of course, he's a non-negotiable, bro. Zoro, go. Simple go. Zoro's the goat. <laughs> Knew that nigga was was him when this nigga just said, "Fuck." What was his name, bro? Uh, what happened? That one? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah, nothing happened. Like, so he, he was like, "Let me give you a taste of what Luffy was doing." Uh, what Luffy, what Luffy damage was. Nigga, nigga ate it. Ate it. Took all that damage Luffy got throughout that whole arc, basically, bro. Head. Mind you, he still had that slash across his chest from Mihawk, all that shit, bro. What was that? No, did he get the slash later? The slash was... No, that was slash or something. No, because Zoro... Cause Zoro that was slash, injured, but he wasn't as injured. But that slash like lasted that. the whole fucking show. Like, no, that whole, it, like... The, the slash was only there until... Whoa, well, before it just became a scar. The slash was really only... That prominent until the assassin island. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, he was good. 
But, but like, but he the damage that Zoro was staying was always second to Luffy. That's a fact. Um, in that arc, I say Zoro and Sanji had the same amount. So the fact that if either one of them did it, I think they would have been good. Regardless. Nah, Sanji, fuck no. Sanji would have been out like a light, bro. <laughs> Sanji would have been done, bro. But Zoro, Zoro ate that shit. No, 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 no. You gotta remember. Remember Skypea? Oh when yeah. When Sanji was smoking a cigarette and he still was like this as he got electrocuted, that was some bullshit. Nah, shit. hell yeah, bro. If he could withstand that, I feel like he could have withstand withstood with was Zoro. Was Zoro took too. Yeah, because I'm not gonna lie, that nigga, that Skype yeah, that whole arc, that nigga was, was fine, the niggas was lucky. Pretty much, Luffy was rubber, bro. Basically, cause yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like that's a whole Logia, bro. That's and, when we really got introduced to Logia freaks and stuff, bro. No, uh, what's the name first? Crocodile. But a legit look, but a le- like, le- legit, legit, a legit, real bro. strong ass nigga. Yeah, where you can't just where you you have to be something. In order, to, like, to hit them, like, they got blessed with Crocodile because I mean, he's saying you can hit him with water. But with Inaru, like, if Luffy wasn't rubber, then whoa, rubber. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't know about that. No they, 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 they don't know about that. They don't know about that, bro. But uh, nah, that that's for real. But Zoro, I love his character arc. Zoro is so fire. Um, Zoro is another one of those guys. Got a dream, he follows it. I mean, Luffy. Literally, the whole One Piece is about having dreams and following. Luffy wanted to become Pirate King. Zoro wants to be um, uh, the greatest swordsman. Uh, Nami wants to be drawing map around the whole world. Usopp wants to be a great warrior, so he can, you know, all, so all his lies can come true. Um, what what else? Uh, Chopper wants to be the the best doctor and be able to cure everything. Sanji wants to make food for everybody and see the all blue where all these different fishes intersect in one in one sea. Um, what's some other ones? Uh, Brooke just wants to meet Lamboon again and be a great musician. I guess. Um, what's another one? Um, Robin wants to know the secret of the world. Frankie wants his ship to sail all across the world. Um, who did I miss anybody? Jimbei just wants Luffy dream to come yeah. true. <laughs> Jimbei just he just there for the, the vibes. Yeah, bro. no, he like, really <laughs> there for the vibes. He real bro. Bobby, bro. especially in the recent chapter. I love I love the interactions with with him first. You know, talking to everybody for the first time for real. that was really cool. Right. Um, I don't think I missed anybody. No, I didn't miss anybody. No. All right, but um, but yeah, yeah, Zoro, uh, Waro, War, 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 nor Zoro. That's what a W. <laughs> w. Um, but uh, another one for me. Mike Guy. Uh, Mike Guy because of, and you know why, Night Guy. Night Guy. The when world, he didn't get Madara, that was bro, top tier. That was, that, that nigga was, a joke was before that. <laughs> bro, that nigga was like, he was basically the only nigga. Besides bro, Naruto and Sasuke. But they had to work together to damage him like that though, bro. Yeah, they did because he put him in the right position and he trapped him a little bit and stuff like that. But and that nigga was straight serving that. He had Madara scared, scared bro. Madara was like, you almost killed me. <laughs> bro, he was, like, <laughs> he was like, damn, like, if I had this tail beast, like, the ten tails, like, I was screwed, basically, If he couldn't bro. regenerate, he was done. Like, he almost fucked up his regeneration. Bro, because he's going at, like, the speed of sound or some shit, right? Yeah, because he was bending time. Yeah, he was bending space. time and space. He yeah, was bending time and space. The, he uh, couldn't move because yeah. he was bending time. Because the troop seeker orbs, he was trying to defend himself. But he's like, the fuck? Like, he's like the bitches. Like, remember the the, the the raw started bending. bending. He, he said, said what? He <laughs> was like, what? <laughs> I, it was crazy. But I just uh, my guy, because we never really saw him fight until. That Shippuden. Scene. Well, yeah. We didn't see him fight till Shippuden, and then like it's like he gradually kept fighting stronger people because we knew and Kakashi was a badass. But like with all the other Jonies, we didn't really know about him for real. like we knew they was strong, but like we didn't really see them get to fight. And guy, it was just progressively oh, like he bro, using more gates and all that stuff. Like we saw him fight and just keep going up and up. Once he first Kizami, that's when I was like, this nigga's kind of different, bro. I, he's, he's a little different, man. He was using he's seven gates at, right there, right? Six or seven? Six, I think. He used six and then used seven for a brief period to finish him off with yep. Yudora, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit was fire. But it was like. Damn, like, my God, bro. He's him. I'm not gonna lie. He's him. Him and Lee are him, bro. Him. <laughs> they need, like, bro, if they had their own show, no I'll watch that shit. Jutsu. Straight, Straight hands. hands. <laughs> Straight, Straight hands, bro. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Like, wait, can, I, this is just a side question, but can, um, 
can people beside can people who have ninjutsu use the inner gates? Because I think they, they can. They can. They should be able to. But they but just have no. They need just to. don't need to. Because it's but like imagine if they did. Imagine but if there's mad, like eight gates. Mad. There's a lot of like. But you gotta think about it too. I feel like if you have ninjutsu and shit, you're not gonna train your body as hard. To, oh, to withstand the, it. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Because Kakashi probably shit. could. Kakashi could. Kakashi. I feel like the Uchiha's could because they're usually pretty agile for real. Other than that. But then they got to try. Uchiha's a soul fire. That's another thing. Um, but yeah, who, who, else, who else you got, bro? Just to open up the conversation going a little longer than I thought it was, bro. It's Vegeta. Vegeta. Vegeta, bro. It's a W, bro. The Prince of All Saints, bro, right there, bro. He finally. Oh, uh, you didn't? Did you see uh Super yet? Like the manga? No, the, the movie. The movie. Not as it. Dang. I was about to say something. Shit, I'm, I'm caught up in the manga, though, bro. That Ultra Ego. Fire. Bro, Ultra that... Ego's fire, bro. But... Like, no eyebrows. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the same thing as uh, Super Saiyan 3. He finally got his no eyebrows for it. Facts, bro. <laughs> Twice, ten times as strong, bro. No, for real, though, bro. Um, I love Vegeta because... um, Pause. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I pause. <laughs> Oh, uh, but nah. Um, I just I love his character arc, um, going from the villain to the second best uh, person, the the main side the main side character. Um, he dude he I, I love Namek arc because definitely his best arc because he was he was murking everybody, bro. Facts. Everybody was getting these hands, bro. Like he was like, nah, like he, he he was on something. He was on one for no reason, bro. He was killing everybody. Yeah. He's like, fuck Frieza, fuck the Ginyu Force, fuck, fuck, just fuck everybody. Like literally, bro. Yeah. I look, yeah. He, he's a great character, bro. I I just wish he got more dubs. <sighs> I, bro, I, meaningful dubs, like in the arc type dubs. See, bro. Then again, he did it to himself. Like Cell could have been his first dub, bro. <sighs> it wouldn't have been the same though. Cause it, imagine like he would have beat him, and then he, you know, his pride would, his pride would not have let him not yeah, be able bro. to at least see the final form. He, bro, like that shit was. I still remember that shit. Nigga Trunks was like, "We gotta kill him." He's like, "He's like, I'm gonna kill you, nigga, if this nigga don't transform." <laughs> basically, bro, he just start beating up Trunks and shit. Yo. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? The true definition of I don't even know what that is. Just I don't even know what that is. What's the word for that? Just somebody who just wants to. Just fight like equivalent to the real world of like, nah, I wanna see where you go. Oh, instigator. Yep. He's like an instigator he's an instigator. Stand. I'm gonna see where it goes. I'm gonna see Fuck. how I'm gonna see how, how how like how ticked off I can make him get. I wanna see how powerful we can get. Sans are irritating, bro. Yep. Cause he did the same thing. I mean, cause Goku did what's an end to whatever. But uh anything else about Vegeta you wanna say, bro? No, no, no. Cause then that kind of leads to the one because Goku um let Sale get his full power back. So, you already know my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, Gohan. Gohan. Goat Han. That's my guy, bro. Bro, Gohan is tough. Bro. I just that's just the same thing that Helmet did into Vegeta, which makes sense because of his character. Though I get it, I get it. He wants to study. Okay, I get it. But bro, he really could be him. You know what's fucking crazy? What? In that arc, all three of them did the same shit. Cause remember, Gohan did the same shit. You're right. He what the, the nigga, fuck, he let, bro? He let the nigga... He's like, no, I'm going to play with him. I'm like, bro, why... why? Just kill you the nigga, sins, bro. bro. What's wrong with you niggas, bro? bro. All the, this nigga Goku going to throw the nigga in a senzu bean. Like, what the this fuck, This nigga bro? Vegeta going to let him turn full pop. Bro, I ain't going to lie. That art could have been ended if it wasn't for these stupid ass sins. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, <laughs> Nobody would have had to die. Some people would have, like, Trunks would never died if it wasn't for all three of them. Um, who Android 16 wouldn't have had to die. Gohan wouldn't even have to turn Super Saiyan 2 if it wasn't for Vegeta. King Kai would have never died. Oh, yeah. King, I mean, shit, it didn't matter for him. He was already <laughs> in his world regardless. Dead ass, bro. Goku wouldn't have had to die if it wasn't for Gohan. Goku <sighs> wouldn't have had to die if it wasn't for Goku giving Cell a sense of being. <laughs> bro, like, he was really... Him and Cell was really going hand-to-hand. And he was just like, I want Gohan to handle my dirty work. Gohan nah, I don't think he would have been able to beat him. Cause he literally like, was like, he was like, I'm right there, but I wouldn't have been able to beat him. I feel like he could have, bro. Cause you, you gotta remember, he bro. He could have. Like he knew Gohan had another level. Yeah, but it's like Saiyans get stronger as they keep fighting, bro. That's true. That's true. 
That that is true. But it's like Gohan did it. But I think it's like he wanted Gohan to reach that level. That's just because he knew him. he could. Because remember, they say he had, he showed flashes of it in, in the time um, chamber in a time uh, hyperbolic time chamber. So that's why he was like, nah, go let's, let's, let's fucking go. So, Gohan's a goat. Like this nigga was in the hyperbolic time chamber, just showing flashes beyond Goku, bro. The was, fucking Goku the, was the star like, of the show, bro. Huh? But if you if you because they they talked about I saw a video about this. They was like if you really look at Dragon Ball Z uh, before Boot Arc, they was like they really been hyping up Gohan. The fact of like when he gets strong, like he literally was throwing hands at everybody. Remember he threw he threw hands with Radix as like a three year old. He threw hands with Frieza in his second form when he got super mad right there. Yep. I don't know where because he got pissed because Krillin got hit or something like that. Um, you saw the same thing. I mean, no, then then I was the last one, and then. Then when when Cell he finally snapped, and you saw this, you're gonna see the same thing in a movie. Um, when you watch it and everything, um, same type of principle. Movie was cool, by the way. I ain't gonna get into it. Uh, it could have been better, but it was still good. It's still something you gotta watch though. I just wish it was canon. Um, also in terms of the the sands, just letting people do whatever. The um, Boo Saga, again, uh, with with Gohan. Remember? Oh yes, he, bro. He was like. He was like, nah, and it shows because Gohan literally every time, every time Gohan, um, doesn't do stuff, but then he he comes back in and he gets strong again. Then he's him. Yeah, he's him, same, and then he does the same shit. It's just the same ego, bro. It's like I don't want to burst. I don't want to fuck you up when you're this weak. Like, show me your true power, my nigga. Yeah, like, like, I want. I want hurt a little. That's what I'm saying. I want to. I, nigga, I want to really brawl. Like, I want my my blood to boil. Like, that ass, bro. <laughs> like they they just always on that bullshit. But like, the, but every time, every time I like Gohan actually, if Gohan actually trained, he'd be stronger than Goku and Vegeta. And everybody like, knows it. They everybody. Just, they just knows don't it. want like Gohan to take over the show. They want to keep it with the same main character. They really could have put the whole show be on Gohan's fucking back after that cell. But cycle, if if you really re- if you really think about it though, it it never fit his character. Even though we want him to be him. It never fit his character. It's just not him. That's not what he wants to do. That's a fact. But it makes sense. He wants to go to school. He, wa- he wants to go to school, bro. He's studying insects or some shit, bro. That, that's that's what potential. it was in a movie. I was you like, literally bro. have potential to be the strongest in the fucking universe. Bro, you li- <sighs> but I mean, he doesn't even like fighting, so I, I get it. But t- I get it, but it, it just hurts because I'm a Gohan fan, bro. And Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was peak. That's why me, Vegeta bro. pities that nigga. Every time. He literally talks about it. He's like, bro, I wish I You're like worthless me. son. Yeah, like, <laughs> like Vegeta probably wish he had that fucking power, bro. For real though. But um, you want to name the rest of the people on your list? So you got you got like one more. You got it. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm it. I think I'm gonna do my top three. All right, no, no, I got I got a few more. Yami, Black Clover. Yami, Black Clover. Yo, I, I wish I put that, that bro. Uh, yeah. He said, bro, this nigga was bro, bro. He's brawling with the fucking devil, bro. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I remember he was first uh, brawling with, uh, uh, P- P- oh, fuck, what's his name? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, the, the angel nigga, the elf, the, the, the elf the first time he showed up. Oh, Lich? Lich, but when he, well, when he had first showed oh, when up. when they were in the, uh, when, when he was that, when trying the... to teach Asta key while he oh, was fighting. The, oh, yeah, with the, um, it was when they first, that first minute, uh, I mm-hmm. been that son do the, the brawlic ass nigga. Yeah. No, when he sliced that nigga in half, though, yeah. when he was about to overload, he was like, "I'm here now." Oh, that's when I knew he was him. It's it's something about the teachers, bro. The bro. teachers, bro. Yami was like, bro. That nigga, first off, you can you can put himself into Asa's position because you feel me. He trained his body. Like, he trained his body like like Asa trained his basically, bro. Yeah, basically, bro. So like that on top of magic, you're just. You're broken. You're broken, bro. You're broken. Bro. You're broken. You're broken. And um, I still remember the, the, the fight with, with Dante um, when he was like, I can't do this. He said, Phew. Asta said, huh? And just grab, grab the sword, bro. <laughs> Yo, that bro. Crazy. That was, and that was the last thing we saw, Black Clover. Yes. But we need that movie. They're talking about it's gonna be. I, they can't fit all that in a movie, though. Bro, I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, bro. They're not putting all that shit in the movie. There's bro. too much. I, I the movie don't have manga. to be like, bro. You haven't read the manga? No, because I've been trying to save it because I really want to watch it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm caught up. They're not fitting all that in the movie. They're gonna have to drop a movie and then continue the show after that. If they drop in the movie, it has to be like three, four hours long, bro. Because they're not even finished with that devil arc yet, right? They're nope. not even finished with it. 
Oh, you're not caught up, bro. More happens. Bro, so, crazy shit is going on, bro. Like, right now. Should like, I read it, bro? Bro. I'm I'm tempted, bro. It, it's like people you won't suspect. Just doing crazy shit? No, people you won't. Or turning? People you won't suspect. Were, bro, I can't even get it into deep. Like, we have to do it off of camera, So, hold on. Bro. So, you saying, like, people... You, you they switched sides or they just started just got real strong. They was on the side already. They was just playing their role. Yeah, bro. That's how crazy it gets, bro. It's it's wild, bro. Like I'm gonna tell you off camera, bro. If I had to think, no, 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 because I don't want to know. I'd have to. I gotta see it live, bro. bro. Ah, you make me want to start reading. Okay, okay, bro. You gotta read. Let bro. me let me list the rest of these people. But uh, I mentioned them earlier: Kakashi, um, Dope. Sabo. Oh shit, Sabo's a good one. Sabo, Ace as well. Shout out Ace. Shout man. out Ace. Rest, rest in peace, my nigga. Rest in power, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they took that nigga too soon, took bro. Took him on, bro. Uh, Law is another honorable mention. Law is fucking... Law is... Law really has one of, of death. That's a tough nickname. Bro, he deadass has like one of the strongest fruits in the show, bro. Damn near. Nigga. He has literally... They literally said it's one of... What, what is it? Paramecia, technically? It's paramecia. Yeah, it's paramecia type shit. But, bro... Because they... I feel like it's going, it's going, like, you feel me how lots is going on? It, it, something might happen with that one, bro. Oh, he's going to use the immortality uh, surgeon thing uh, thing on somebody. I don't know who he's going to use it on, but he's going to use it on somebody. That They could just live the rest I, of I'm What if he uses it on Zoro? Because that nigga's knocking on death doors already. That's what I'm saying, bro. It'd it, 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 it have to be Luffy or Sanji. I mean, Luffy or Zoro. Because, you know, they said they've been saying it though. Like, remember they the they talked they about it with both of them. They said Gear Two. Yep, like, I put that in the chat, bro. Yep, Gear Two literally pumps his blood, which drains his life his life uh, span. Um, Gear Four with the armament. Gear Four with the armament also does it. Um, of when he got hit with the poison, that uh, the not not when he got hit by the poison, but the treatment he used for the poison. Poison and stuff, and he did that treatment like three different times during the the Paramount War. Um, what else? Um, I don't think Gear Five does anything. Gear Five probably helps him more than anything. Um, Gear Four definitely because he's using way too much hockey, and there's something else too. But Gear Two definitely, definitely drains his shit. Like I ain't gonna lie, he probably only got like months left to live at this point. Because didn't they say the lifespan, like, um, the pinch thingy or whatever that Ivan did or whatever, that takes off, like, five years or something? Mm-hmm. Five, yep. It's like five or ten years or something. I think it's ten. Was it ten? I think it's ten. And did it three times, so that's 30 years? Shit. It was two or three times, bro. That's OD, bro. My name and then, Luffy, you have to die. And you see Zoro, he took Luffy's pain. Yeah. You see in the in Wano arc how he got... <laughs> that man went through the ringer. He he still outshined like almost everybody, especially because the guy <laughs> he got a little he got a little you know, yeah, hockey, bro. you know what I mean? But something like that's all right. So got any more uh, honorable mentions though for uh, before we head out? Pillow. I forgot about him. I totally forgot about him. Kill, kill you is a W. And back to now we talking about this topic. The new uh, well what, if they do they did say they were gonna bring it out uh. New Hunter Hunter, right? New Hunter Hunter is not even supposed to be about Gone, yeah. Gone and Killua. It's the, supposed... It's, uh, the nigga with the rings. Kurt Pika? Yeah, it's about to be based off of him. Fully, apparently. Like, it's supposed to be that's tricky That's the next arc, though, I think. That's yeah. that's why. I want to see... This nigga going to be going... I Pika in a while, though. He's going to be dangerous, bro. But he can't really do much. I mean, no, because he, his quirk is literally only to work against spiders. That's the only people that, that, that he can use it for. Shit. So, he has to be fighting them. He got to be. Because that's the only people he can fight. It's a fact. Well, the only people he can use that special power for. He can use the power for other stuff, but that's the only one. I need to see what timing he on, though, bro. He got to go a little crazy, bro. Corey Pig, I can't wait to see that again. I want to see Gon's dad again, too. Facts. I want to see the, the conflict they had with the... Um, was it the Hunter Registry people? Oh, that, whoa, that, whoa. that was that was a little juicy. That was one of the last things we saw. But um, but yeah, bro. So um, that that's really it for the podcast. I'm like, the anime conversation was like 35, 40 minutes, bro. I, I ain't Good expect call, that, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. I ain't expect that. I saw it reach like hour hour twenty, and I was like, oh shit. You know what we do, Ray Jules. We know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs>
Shout out Ron. Shout out Ron, man. Ronald Ron. White. Hey, that, that's my president. That's my president right there, bro. Hey, smooth. Hey, smooth. <laughs> but nah, um, thank you for showing up, though. Justin, one of my first in-person guest for the pod. Definitely want to do more of these in-person ones. It's easier. I can just run it through. I don't have to switch through Zoom calls and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, W Podcast. W guest, man. You got anything you want to shout out and stuff before we head out of here, bro? Social media is anything like that? Uh, you guys can follow me at underscore J Dolls on the gram. You feel me? Look out. I'm going to be your, your next big game developer type shit, type shit. Also, shout out my nigga Julian, bro. You better go stream his song. If you're not streaming Julian's song, then you're not just doing it wrong, bro. Songs. Just doing it wrong, bro. Album. If you're not streaming the songs, you're doing it wrong, bro. That's it. You feel me? Jewels. Jewels. <laughs> That's what the people wanted to hear, bro. <laughs> Tell you shit. But nah, yeah, I appreciate you showing up. Thank you all for listening, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Y'all are the goats. This is my favorite uh, um, uh, shoot, uh, computer engineer. Be working to the bone. All the time. Shout out Professor Bailey. <laughs> shout out. Shout out Dr. Bailey, bro. Shout make Dr. make Bailey. sure I know my information. Not gonna oh, lie. Oh, oh. Come on, Mr. Armstrong. Oh, <laughs> yep. Make sure I know my information, bro. No, Real talk. Real, though. But uh, shout out to everybody, man. Thank y'all for listening to this episode. It's about an hour 30, so hour 35. So, um, yeah, and uh, y'all know, only more good content on the way. I'm going to try not to miss any more um, days. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, last words? Have a good night. <laughs> You already know what it is. Peace. Yes, 